Everyone, let's welcome Terrence to the show. You see, Terrence is anxiously awaiting the results of a DNA test that he took just 72 hours ago. And, and, and Terrence is praying that the test will reveal that he is the biological father of his one-year-old daughter, Shadalia. Now, backstage is Terrence's girlfriend, Melody. Now, Melody claims she's positive that Terrence is the dad. But here's the history with these two. Three years ago, Melody claimed that Terrence was the father of their first child. And it was later proven that he was not the father. That's probably the number one reason why you're beginning to doubt this child. Yeah, then also because she's a liar. She lies to me about everything almost. And, and then I always ask her, like, hey, Mel, is there any chance that he's not mine or anything like that? She, no, there's no way possible that he's not yours. He's yours, he's yours. There's no way, no chance. Right. A couple months down the road, I give her an ultimatum. You can either tell me the truth or I can leave until you had a baby and we come do a DNA test. <laughs> she finally told me that it was, a, it was a possible chance that it could be somebody else's, but she felt like... He was really mine. And how long after he was born did you have a paternity test? He was about eight months old. He was about eight months. Next thing you know, we did the DNA test and uh, he turned out not to be mine and crushed me. Oh. Oh. But you stayed. I you stayed. stayed. I already loved him. I was attached to him already. He a part of me. Even if, even if we went separate ways today, next week, two years from now, he's always a part of me. That's my son. Nothing else will change it. So, she gets pregnant again. Are you immediately in doubt? Absolutely. I was happy at first, because like I said, I've always wanted to be a father. But at the same token, in that same happiness, it was that depression. It was that sadness. It was that hurt. It was that pain. It was that wondering, is this baby going to be mine, right. or is she going to come out and be like Terrence? Oh, a couple months down the road, we're going to do a test, and then all of a sudden, he's not mine. Okay. Around the time she got pregnant, y'all broke up for about a week or so. Yeah, we, we broke up. She went back to her ex dude's uh, house. And then uh, she ended up sleeping with him. Then she comes, you, you two get back together. At the same time, then I had to ask her that question. Have you and him been sleeping around? She's like, yeah, we were sleeping around and everything, but I asked her, y'all was using protection, right? She was like, nah. You were there during the pregnancy, weren't you? Yes, I was there the whole entire time. Never left. Never left. <laughs> was there the whole time. No matter how many doubts came in my mind, no matter how much pain, no matter how much hurt, no, none of that. I always stay because if that test say she mine, it's gonna be worth the pain that I went through. So, Sedalia comes out, you look at her. See a bright baby, man. I, she bright, she was so bright. I'm confused, because I'm like, dang, man, come on now, Mel. I know you just didn't too do bright, this to me twice. Too bright, too Way light. too bright, look at her. Like, I mean, if you come over here and you look, and my daughter, like, everything seems to be different. The nose is different. You can't really see her ears on here, but her ears point outwards, and neither me or Mel's ears turn out at all. She was born, uh, she was born at 32 weeks. My son was born at 32 weeks. She was three pounds, six ounces. He was three pounds, six ounces. She was 16 inches. He was 16 and a half inches. So everything seemed to just line up perfectly with him. With the ex. Yeah. You're the man in the house. Oh, I'm the super dad. I take care of kids that ain't even my kids. I mean, there ain't, ain't too many people on this earth that's gonna do that. And I stayed through everything. So the pain, the hurt, everything, and that's because I went through foster care, and I know how important it is for children to have parents when they being raised. Like, I know how important it is. Like, it's just... There should be no reason a child should be without a parent. What's gonna happen if you go down this road the second time? and it's not yours. If Shadalia not mine, I, I don't even be wanting to think about it, but if Shadalia not mine, I don't know if I'll leave. I probably will leave, uh, and I wouldn't want to leave my children at all. I would never leave them. They will always be a part of me, and as long as Mel allow me to, I would always be there for them every single day of their life. Okay. Melody wants you to be the father? Yes, she of course. She thinks you're the father? Everybody would want me to be the father of their child. You see what kind of man I am? I, I take care of all of them, so, like, of course, like, who wouldn't want me to be the father? I want to tell you something. I'd like to bring you back every single show so you can lecture these guys who deny being the father. Well, I, I, I feel like there shouldn't be not one single guy that denies a child. If you had sex with a woman, y'all did not strap up, period. Your chance that you are the father. I don't like all of that. 
oh, well, she might have been doing this and that. I don't care what she's been doing. If I slept with you and I use no protection, you tell me you pregnant, and I know them days might add up, I'm there! I'm there! Everybody, here's Melody. <laughs> Melody. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you straight off, this is one good guy right here. He is. He really is. I wouldn't want to disappoint him twice. No. You think you're going to disappoint him? No, no. Terrence knows that Shadalia is his. I don't there's, know. No, there's no know. doubt you know, in Terrence's mind. You know I don't know. He points out that everything lines up with the same weight, the same length, the same uh, look as uh, your other child who's your ex's child. Maury, prematurity runs in my family. I was premature. My brothers and sisters were premature. My kids are bound to be premature. Well, can you understand his doubt after the first time around? You understand my pain? I can understand. I can. All the mistakes that you made? Okay. I can understand. That's why I'm giving you your leeway. That's why I'm, let I'm here on this show for the fact that I want to prove to you that it's not the same. I pray it's not. I'll show. I hope so, man. I really hope that she mind Mel because we done been through so much in these last couple of years. Like, we've been like the toughest couple that I've ever met in my life. I done met some strong couples, but we are super strong. With our kids, we strong as all ever. And I'm positive that Shadalia's yours. I'm positive. I really... I'm 100% sure Shadalia is yours. And I really hope that you are right, Mel. I really do hope you're right. First time around, were you surprised? My heart dropped. I wanted Terrence to be there. He was a great father. He is a great father. My son loves him to death. He doesn't know anybody else. It broke my heart when it came back Terrence wasn't his. You were young. You were in foster care. And when you found out you were pregnant the first time, you thought it was Terrence because you assumed that the last person you slept with would be the father of your child. I was in foster care, doctor care. I had to learn how to be a woman on my own. You didn't realize it could have been somebody you slept with a week before. Yes. In all fairness, before she got pregnant, Maury, I didn't even know how long it took for somebody to realize <laughs> they was pregnant. I ain't even, I'm not gonna lie, when I even had my first daughter and my son, I didn't even think to look up none of that stuff to find out how long it takes for a conception and all of that stuff. So I, it is, it's, it's not hard to believe that Mel didn't understand how pregnancy really worked, but at the same token, if you know you slept with somebody else, you should have let me know that. <laughs> Melody, you but think... You knew at you seven weeks Shedalia, pregnant. You think Shedalia uh, looks like him? Look. What? Look at my baby eyes. Look at these eyes. Look at these eyebrows. When she smiles, that's his smile. That's his. Just because she's light skinned doesn't mean anything. Your sister's light skinned. Your family's light skinned. My family's my light skinned. Sister, my sister ain't that bright. Your sister ain't just like that. What you nope. mean? I just don't you see don't it. You don't want to see it. That's what you, you don't want to see oh, it. Oh, he does want to see it. I don't think he does. Me? Me, a lot of all people on this world that's choosing to be fathers or can be fathers, you think that I don't want to be the father of my daughter as much as I take care of all of these kids that's You're around so me? This is to her. No, so no. Don't ever tell me I don't want to be a father to my daughter. You're I'm dissing. dissing to her because treat, I don't want to be hurt like Terrence. You the treat same way I was hurt with Terrence. And you treat your biological Why child. Why wouldn't I? I'm attached to Terrence. I'm not attached to Shadalia yet. You know Shadalia yours. Where did the name Shadalia come from? Your best friend, Shardell. And what happened with him? He died. So you telling me that I'm going to give a child my best friend's name that I don't want to be mine? Because... He went through this once before, and he, and, he, and, he, and he remembers those emotions. He doesn't want to go through it again. I don't want to relive being hurt and crushed all over again. I was crying for weeks, weeks, a couple of months over Terrence. I still cry over Terrence. And you think I'm not in pain every day that I got to see? Some days you're wishy-washy with her. Some days you want to be her you, father. Well, and guess what? You don't. We're, we're, going, we're going to decide this, all right? And then we'll find out whether everybody's wishy-washy, everybody's in pain, or maybe we can bring a little joy. In the case of one-year-old Shedalia, Terrence, you are not...
can't be serious, man. I knew this, but I, my, excuse my language, I knew it. I already knew it. Thanks for watching this dramatic DNA reveal. If you want to see more paternity stories, click here. And be sure to subscribe to be the first to know about all new DNA drama.